So in the same article I initially found the response to the backlash from the community manager who would go on to block me for retweeting him, this journalist from Game Rant tried to spin Mary Jane being old as a result of her being stressed. They even went as far as to bring up how stress ages presidents. And honestly, I'm completely fine being called sexist if it helps them get through their day without their meds. So I'm just glad we're all on the same page. And you notice that she's old. We're all on that same page. Lady aged up like 10 years, but the boy has to be aged down. And that's why we're living in a DiCaprio world because of the double standards and divisions that you people champion. That's not very Latinx of you guys to pander to gays, but then you lock the comments did you guys hear that south park's going to be having an event called welcome to the panderverse where they race and gender swap all the boys i tweeted how i just want to give it a 10 out of 10 already even though i haven't seen it because i feel so represented so seen anyone who doesn't love it must be a bigot even though it hasn't released yet matt and trey parker are my niggas because they're in the business of making people laugh and i'm in the pursuit of waka waka myself preemptively gamers are being attacked right <laughs> Gamers are. <laughs> yup, y'all smell that? Smelling like Neo Druckmann in here. Kids, why would you bring that rotten meat in here of all places? Kids, you stupid mother. Guys, one like equals one day off of Mary Jane's age. So y'all gonna need around three, three thousand. You know, it's looking like ten years. Do 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 do. <laughs> Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Face it, Mary Jane. You hit the wall. On Elon Musk's X, formerly known as Twitter, I mused that Mary Jane's face looks like a Karen calling the police to report a black person. Yes, officer. That's right. I fear for my safety. I can't thank you enough for liking and subscribing. It's really helping this reach people who keep telling me they thought they were alone. That's what they want you to think. And I think your likes are stronger than the average audiences. I'm, I'm not joking. We could rule this shitty. <laughs> Highlighting their hypocrisy and recognizing these patterns is slowly helping release art from their stranglehold. Stupidity is one thing, but this is absolutely unprofitable behavior. U ugly women? I thought this was America. Please, indulge me while I get to the point, but I remember a time a woman in the park had her dog off leash and ended up putting on a real performance to trick the police into potentially showing up and busting a cap in a brother. But I also remember she was being a little rough with this dog. And I remember thinking to myself, if the racism doesn't bother people, the way she's treating that dog will. So to say it again a little faster, while watching a video of some broad wasting law enforcement's time with racist lies, since, you know, there's no other actual emergencies going on ever, I knew that people watching the video would care more about the dog than the black guy, even though he was in the right. And pretending to be ignorant to this fact does not magically make the world the utopian better place that we all want it to be, excluding people because of their race, doesn't get less racist when it's white people. Excluding people because of their gender doesn't get less sexist because it's men. People have been forced into silence by bullies who falsely accuse of intolerance and are more than willing to harass strangers for liking and playing a wizard game. They need to turn entertainment into a platform to redefine standards and lecture. But when others voice their opinions, raise concerns, offer criticisms with irrefutable truths, sometimes exposing lazy trends, it is immediately deemed hate that should be silenced instead of a harmless exercise in freedom of speech. As I said on Twitter, 
there are people facing struggles where they're forced to contemplate the way out. But suddenly, me talking about video games is triggering and offensive to the unmedicated morons forcing themselves to watch my, air quotes, videos and read my mind droppings on Twitter? You think you're the only real fans of something? Shut the fuck up. I wonder if they think Saints Row didn't have real fans, or if Halo didn't have real fans. There will always be people willing to pull their pants down and drink that Kool-Aid defending corporation. And obviously, sometimes what's in motion cannot be stopped, but a clear indication of what does not resonate goes a long way. For example, I bet you there won't be as many MJ Stealth portions in this new game. Why do you think that is? Is it because the squeaky wheel gets the grease? Yuri Lowenthal felt the need to address the backlash to Peter's face change in interviews recently, telling fans verbatim to get over it. And I remember being perplexed at the time, asking why this even needs to be said. It's like people are allergic to just shutting the hell up and promoting a product so that people who slaved for years in silence get whatever extra pay and accolades are coming to them. But for some reason, people out in these streets needing to Rachel Zegler. Please, guess what? This deliberately ugly Mary Jane choice will cost you among fans who can see the hypocrisy. You're worse than Mortal Kombat, here's why. At least Mortal Kombat went so sexy and was so controversial that it changed ratings for games as we know it. So an overcorrection is something that's not difficult to understand. Mary Jane was a stacked bombshell smoke show with a tiny waist and jiggly knockers in your first game? Oh no, she wasn't. She was just a cute, fully clothed girl. Before mods anyway. But even though Peter Parker was aged down, Insomniac Games saw fit to age Mary Jane up by like a factor of a lot. It's just a coincidence though, right? And people making these choices never even look out a window online. They have no idea how to gauge sentiment in, in perhaps the easiest time to be able to do so. The world is a divided place. Far from the wannabe utopia presented in the forgettable media churned out by hacks these days. And in a desperate attempt for the woke to escape labels, they desperately need to label themselves. When we didn't ask or give a shit, you know, about any of that. I mean, you know, cool, great, good, what the fuck? I believe in Somniac that you know better than to respond. Because explaining why you downgraded Mary Jane in a video game that you could make her look like anything in is a tall order beta tester like subscribe comment or correct me below well, what do you look for in a game of the year you know 15 year old games have solved the kind of ugly face problem that we're having here and eastern games are running circles around this but maybe one day sony's movie games can catch up you know what i mean <laughs> the game of the year i believe in boundaries being pushed not so much in accepting restrictions spider-man 2 will be smoother faster and more impressive since we finally abandoned last gen hardware but Will it leave as many pleased as Baldur's Gate did? I think no. And even if it were releasing simultaneously across all platforms, no. And this is with the DEI ESG design aside. I don't even want to see Black Cat because I bet they'll take a femme fatale and make her shrug worthy as well. To have such little humanity on staff that you couldn't just appeal to both sides. With this progressive garbage these types constantly choke on. We don't want to be told, we want to be shown. You're not demonstrating inclusivity, aging Mary Jane way up. How bold and deliberate a decision when you know they're fully aware 
that it would infuriate fans because of the poor reception to Peter's changes in the past that Yuri Lowenthal is still forced to bring up in interviews now rolling into the second game. You know it's bad when the people who agree with downgrading women in every fucking game vocally believe that this Mary Jane looking a little hollowed. In gathering the community sentiment, I've seen Caitlyn Jenner's name so many times, and since I know Grand Theft Auto cares enough about its game to pay people to scour the internet, I'm so glad for all of you being vocal enough to make damn sure that GTA 6 understands that they need to compete with some of what's available right now. Of course, Insomniac's gonna make its money. It's just wild that, like I mentioned before, even Marvel's Avengers was willing to listen and modify its Farquad Black Widow, but Insomniac, shh, got nothing to say. You know, I guess they've decided they're not backing down. Volition made Punisher back in the day, kick-ass beloved character, charismatically portrayed recently by John Bernthal. There's a thirst for the gritty, sexy, bloody Marvel that Blade brought us back in the day. Thank God for people like based Maharshala Ali who's too much of a bad motherfucker to let people get a script off the ground where they'll make it all about the daughter who's not like other girls and probably has a specific gender identity, you know what I mean? This is all beyond absurd and I'm astonished that we even are at a point where we have to say all of this but it is my privilege and my pleasure to be the one to say so in the midst of people calling people names because how dare you say that about a Karen she doesn't even look like that she doesn't even look like that all right if they have any more deliberately ugly women and uh, they're making masculine or Kate Bishops and Kamala Khan's they want to try to force down people's throats for everybody to just be like nah we good you know what I mean we'll be here to rebuild when they move on to the next fucking ship they want to sink man supporters I love you thank you I know it seems trivial, but gamers will regret not resisting when they had the opportunity. Sometimes you need to know the amount of dedicated web you should add to a soul. And me? Maybe it's my sole burden to repair the timeline's path to jiggle physics in Grand Theft Auto. Guys, one like equals one month off of Mary Jane's age. One comment equals one pound off of Mary Jane's face. Let's make it happen.